I love a good candy bar as much as anyone. Maybe it's the Willy Wonka in me, but ever since I was a boy, I would love to own a company that made things like chocolates and candy bars and the sweet things in life. The problem is that as you see here, one of my favorite candy companies, Hershey's, is always priced at a very high price to earnings ratio. Several months ago, it experienced a pretty good decline. It went from around $277 per share all the way down to around $190 per share. Now that was a nice decline in price. The problem is that even though I had experienced around a 30% decline, I like a margin of safety just as much as I like a good candy bar. But with it trading at a 19 PDE, I still felt like it was overvalued. I mean, it is a solid company, but I wanted to buy it at a lower price than where it's currently trading at. So how can I use options to create a margin of safety? In this video, I'm going to share with you two examples of companies I've used this same technique with to create a margin of safety and companies that you just don't get an opportunity to trade them in very often at a discount. The two companies I'm going to share with you in this video are trades I've actually done and they're companies that you can only buy at a good price to earnings ratio usually once every 20 years. We don't want to wait 20 years to buy some of our favorite companies. So here is how I create margins of safety in companies that hardly ever trade at a discount. Here you see the trade I did in Hershey about three months ago. After it experienced that 30% decline, I wanted to do something to have the opportunity to buy at a price that I feel comfortable owning at, a price that would give me a very nice margin of safety. So with Hershey trading for around $190 per share, I sold the leaps or longer term put option that expired in about a year from the date that I did this trade. I sold that put option at $140 per share or about $50 per share less than where Hershey was trading at. For selling someone else the right to put that stock into our account at $140 per share, any time between when we sold this option and when it expired, which was about a year later, we were paid $3.95 per share. Here you see in the alert I sent out to my patrons, I told them that my plan was to try to exit this position early if at all possible. That would improve our overall return. However, if Hershey continued to decline and we were assigned those shares at $140 per share, I'd be happy to own them for that price. Well, what's happened since we did this trade? Although Hershey has bounced around between $180 and $200 per share, it's still pretty much in the same area where it was when I did this trade. But the reason for this video is to talk about a margin of safety. In order for us to be able to buy Hershey at an awesome price, which in this case, I'd be happy to buy at $140 per share. It would have to decline about another $25 before the put option we sold as challenged. So for now, we're just going to sit in this trade and see what happens. If I end up buying it at $140 per share, I'm very happy with that. However, if Hershey starts to go up in price, I'll then close it out early and end up with a very safe and high percentage trade that paid us some nice profit in a company I really like. Let me share one more similar type of trade and a similar type of company with you to help you understand this concept. Again, we're trying to create a margin of safety in companies that very seldom go on sale. Here you see another trade I did in another company that very seldom goes on sale. Again, about three months ago, I sold to open the CMI January of the next year, so the option expired in a little over 12 months. I sold the $200 cash secure put option. For selling that put option, we were paid $8.70 per share, or $870 per contract. I've now switched to the weekly chart. When we did this trade, it was selling for around $240 per share. Well, remember, we sold the $200 put option. So that option was about $40 out of the money. That meant that CMI would have to decline about $40 before the put option we sold would be challenged. If it did decline to $200, then I had the opportunity to either roll that put option out and possibly down if I didn't really want to take assignment of the stock or just let it be assigned to me at this great discount. After consolidating for a few weeks and then declining to test the green 50 moving average on this weekly chart of support, CMI has since then taken off and gone up over 24%. So where are we at with this trade? Well, as you see here, we have a nice profit in CMI. We sold it for around $8.70 per share and this last trade was right at $2 per share. So we'll most likely look to close this position out over the next trading days. But if CMI had declined to our strike price of $200 per share, it would have been a great opportunity for us to buy a really solid company that I really like with a nice margin of safety. So that's the first way you can create your own margin of safety using options. Here's a second way I do it. You're looking at a spreadsheet of all the stock and option trades I've done over the past several years and Realty Income ticker symbol O. We bought and sold lots of put options as well as cover calls. During the time that we owned the cover calls, we also collected a lot of dividends. As a result of selling these options, notice at the bottom right corner of the spreadsheet how much our overall out-of-pocket cost is on the 400 shares that we own in Realty Income right now. Notice it says we're out of pocket $34.22 per share for the 400 shares we own right now. 
our current cover call option position is that we've sold the May $55 cover call options. That option expires in about two months from now. Here you see my position represented on this monthly graph of realty income. With it currently trading for around $52 per share, our out-of-pocket cost is right around $34 per share. Do you see how you can use options to create these margins of safety? You don't have to wait for a stock to come down to a price that gives you that margin of safety. If you choose to, you can use options to create your own margin of safety. If you'd like to get an alert whenever we buy stock or sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. There's actually another very safe way to use options that'll help you to benefit from stock price appreciation. If you'd like to see that technique, check out the video at the link above and the description below entitled How to Trade Risk Reversals the Right Way. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.